Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindy, AKA Paleo Barbie. If you are new here, please hit that bell and subscribe down below and stick around. Um, this is gonna be a meal prep video for uh, the week. It is, this week we're doing a kind of a keto reset and we are doing uh, BBBE, which if you don't know what that is, it's beef, bacon, butter, and eggs all week. Um, so um, we are not doing it for the whole month as a lot of people do. Um, we're just doing it, kind of using it as a tool for a reset. And so we're gonna show you what we are meal prepping. Uh, you don't have to be doing BBBE to eat any of this stuff. You can just be doing regular keto. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm doing for meal prep for the week is get a um, dozen eggs in here all uh, boiled up in the Instant Pot. And you guys have seen me do, do this before. I just do the 555 method, which is five minutes on manual, five minutes uh, cool down, and then five minutes in the, in the ice bath. So I'm gonna get this lid on here and get this going. All right, the other thing I'm doing is I'm going to brown up a bunch of ground beef. Uh, we are doing a reset this week, so we're doing uh, all carnivore, but uh, BBBE, but we're only doing it for a week and then we're gonna go back to regular keto. So I'm going to ground, um, brown up a bunch of ground beef. The other thing we're doing is throwing some bacon in the air fryer so that we have some bacon for breakfast for the next couple of days, or at least tomorrow because it's for both of us. So this may last, we'll have, probably have to make some more tomorrow, but we're gonna go ahead and just get this going in the air fryer and then make some scrambled eggs. All right, bacon's in the air fryer. I'm getting some scrambled eggs going here and then we will get some other things going. All right, so I got scrambled eggs with bacon ready for three breakfasts, some lunches here with ground beef and bacon, and hard boiled eggs to go with that as well. All right, so the next thing I'm prepping is some burger bites. I saw a couple different people do these. I saw Mission Keto and another person on Instagram do it. Um, and I, I made these a long time ago before I was do doing this for BBBE, but, uh, and you can stuff them with cheese or whatever if you're not doing BBBE, but, um, which I'll probably make these again when we're not doing this, uh, just for having a, some keto lunch bites or whatever, um, or for breakfast, either one would be good. Uh, but anyway, these are going to be burger bites. So basically little bitty tiny burgers wrapped in bacon cooked in the air fryer for, um, something different to eat the same food as she put it. Um, and so anyways, let me get some of these made and I'll show you what they're going to look like. Okay. I'm seasoning with the Redmond's Real Salt, uh, organic seasoned salt because Dr. Barry said a, a clean all-purpose seasoning is okay um, and I figure he trusts Redmond so so do I uh, and that's what I'm gonna use so just to give it something more than just plain old salt that's what I'm gonna go with all right so I've made just kind of like little meatballs and I'm wrapping them with the bacon putting the seam side down in here and I'm gonna cook them in the air fryer I'm not sure how long yet I'm gonna start with 10 minutes and flip them and look see what they look like and then I'll cook them a little bit longer so let me get these finished wrapped. All right, so I got 12 of those. They're gonna go into the air fryer. I'm gonna do 375 for 10 minutes and see what they look like. And so now with the rest of the scrambled beef, I'm just gonna make some patties and cook them in the air fryer as well when the other is done, just to have some easy, quick things to grab. All right, so I did 10 minutes, then I flipped them and did five more and they came out really good. Can't wait to taste these. Um, so I'm gonna put these up and I'm gonna stick these burgers in here. All right, guys, I just flipped the burgers. Don't mind the air fryer in the background. Um, these are delicious and they don't even have cheese in them. Oh my gosh, you have to make these, they're so good. So they were a total of 10 minutes, then flip and five minutes at 375 in my air fryer. All right, burger patties are done, going into the fridge. making is the PSMF bread. I left out the allulose this time because uh, the only sweetener that I'm doing this week is in my electrolytes. Um, <clears throat> even though if I was doing strict BBBE, you're not supposed to have any sweetener at all, not even in your electrolytes, but I don't have any un unflavored ones and I don't want to use up my Re Redmond's Real Light capsules until I'm doing phase two. So this is really more for a reset for us, so I'm not too worried about it, but um, I went ahead and mixed this up, gonna throw it in the oven so we have some bread. All right, so this is going in the oven. If you are new to PS, 
protein sparing modified fasting bread. I use Maria Emmerich's recipe. There are lots of recipes out there. Um, it is basically egg whites and water, cream of tartar, salt, and if you add the al allulose, but I left that out this time. You can also sometimes add a whole egg uh, yolk at the end and, and or you could add nutritional yeast. But today is just keeping it simple and I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 325. All right, so the bread is done. Of course, it's not brown like it usually is when I make it because I usually use the allulose and that's what gives it the red, the red, the brownness, but it's still gonna work for this week. Next week, I will go back to using my allulose, um, but we're gonna cut this in a little while after it cools. All right, so these are all cut up. I'm gonna let them continue to cool a little bit more and I'll stick them in the Ziploc and stick them in the fridge. All right, the other thing I'm gonna attempt to make, I've never made these before, but these are carnivore noodles. It's just egg white, egg, and some beef gelatin. And I also added some Redmond's Real Salt to it. And I'm going to, the first, I've watched a couple different videos of different people making them, and they make them in the pan like crepes. But what I'm gonna try to do is put them on a cookie sheet and then cut them into the noodles. So I'm gonna cook them in the oven at 350 and see how that goes. If that doesn't work, then I don't, I'll know next time I need to do it in the pan, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way just to save on time and clean up. So let me go ahead and pour these in here. I'm gonna stick them in the oven and crossing fingers that these come out. All right, so I took these out of the oven. So far, the consistency seems like it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool and then I'm gonna try to roll it up and cut them into noodles. All right, so it did not roll off as pretty as I would like, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it work. I'm gonna slice this up so I can get some noodles out of this and I will show you what it looks like. All right, so we have carnivore noodles. They came out a little thicker than what I would like, but hey, what are you gonna do? But uh, we're gonna try these tonight. So uh, this is just another option to give you something different if you're doing carnivore or BBBE um, to not have the same thing all the time, so. Anyways, I'm going to make some hollandaise sauce later to go with this. Um, I won't show you that in this video, but this is how I made my carnivore noodles. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this meal prep video. Hopefully, it gave you some ideas to get you going and get you prepared and uh, successful in your journey. So let me know down below if you stop by and say hi, and I'll see you guys in the next video.